Hello everybody, welcome back. I am doing in what I got, well, what is it called? What I ordered versus what I got on Amazon. And this time I'm doing dupes, fall fashion-ish, all kind of mixed in one because my fashion for the fall season is very much like, I'm not trying to put an outfit together, but I still look styled and clearly <laughs> I'm not trying to put outfits together. Like very kind of more like sports-ish, loungewear, that kind of stuff. A lot of the brands that I have today are like Lululemon, I'm pretty sure you say it like Aritza, Aritza, question mark. So those kind of brands are kind of more what I'm doing today. So this is the first one. This is like one of the only actual like items of clothing that I got. And it's like a jacket. The dupe that this is for is for like an Aritza pleather blazer. And this is the one from Amazon. So this is what it would look like on an actual website. And this is the price. But here is what I got from Amazon. So I did size up. Um, I've been sizing up on a lot of my like sweaters and things like that because I like them to be oversized. But this still, like it said in the comments like it would be oversized, but this looks like it's still a small. Here we go, initial thoughts. Needs to de-wrinkle. Definitely like quality wise, I can see where some of the stitching and stuff is like maybe not up to par with what it would be if you paid $100 for this. But as far as everything else goes, like I could see this in Nordstrom. Um, you probably wouldn't button this. But all in all, like I think it fits nicely. Maybe a little bit long on the sleeves. It's definitely pleather, but that's like kind of what the dupe is. So I'm not sure that like gives off any dupe vibes. The buttons themselves have a little bit of stitching that's kind of off. But other than that, I would say this fits very well. It's lined with kind of like this soft fabric, which would make it warm. So I would say this is a good dupe. Solid seven, eight out of 10. Here's me standing up. Next. Okay, these must be the leggings. So these are Lululemon high-waisted leggings. Oops. And I got a medium, but like, I can't tell if these are joggers or leggings because they look big. They have pockets here, so maybe these are the joggers. I take it back. I think these are the joggers. These are Lulu joggers. Usually Lulu pants, I swear, are like 80 bucks. And these were 28. And actually, I do buy my leggings on Amazon, and I've never bought Lululemon leggings, but my mom has, and every time I've like worn hers, they're like the same. And actually, I prefer my Amazon ones better. So they seem like great quality, I'll just have to try them on. Overall, my impressions are like, okay. I do like that they're pretty high-waisted. Um, I just think like the quality is kind of like meh. You know what I mean? Like it definitely looks, like it looks like there's a difference between these and the little one ones. So, I mean, they're functional, they're comfortable. Five out of 10. Another actual piece of clothing here. This seemed to me like something that you would get on Urban Outfitters. I haven't seen like an actual vest. I'm sure that there is one that one of that like the major retailers is selling. Uh, but this is more just like you could wear this and people would think it's from Urban Outfitters. And this has probably cost like $40 at Urban Outfitters and I paid $21. So half the price. Um, this is super cute. And it's a little summery. I'll find a way to style it. You're getting a thorough haul right now, everybody. <laughs> Why am I scared of this? I don't know what this is and it's like sealed. Okay, well here, these are like trousers. I assume you would also find these on a brand more like Aritza where it's like business casual. Kind of seen these all over as well. These are what I got on Amazon. The, the fabric is kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. It definitely feels kinda cheap, but sometimes they still look good on. It's kinda in two in one right now, but I'm gonna start here with the tank. I really love this sweater. I think it looks nice, it doesn't look cheap, um, so eight out of 10. The pants, I do think I could have afforded to go a size down. I I guess like I didn't think they were gonna be as billowy as they were, but maybe stay true to size because I sized up for these. But if you're going for kind of like that street grunge, business casual, off hours kind of look, I could see these coming into play and I actually do like them like a little bit kind of like low-waisted huge right they've got lots of extra fabric paired with like a nice oversized sweater and I think that this could be super super cute I'm actually a big fan of these they do definitely feel cheap like they're thin they're not thick but as far as like the way they look I don't think they look that way. Yes, to you it might feel cheap, but to other people, if you style it well, nobody can tell the difference. So I do think there is a big difference in fabric. So I'd probably give it like a six out of 10, but to be fair, they do look realistic. So maybe seven out of 10. Okay, so here we have high-waisted Lululemon legging dupes. The waistband is a little bit thick. 
which is kind of weird. But these are a little bit big, if I'm being honest. Like you can kind of see where it's like bunching, like kind of weird. And they do feel a little bit like cottony, which I, I feel like the material is different. I don't know if that makes sense, but these feel more like leggings I would layer under my ski pants. As far as look goes, like I wouldn't say they look cheap, but I also am not a good judge of like what leggings look cheap because they all kind of look the same in my opinion. Overall, comfortable, yes, warm. They're definitely warm. As far as like dupe goes, five out of 10. I've been seeing these all over TikTok. This is in, this is like a dupe is for a sweat set that you would find on like Aritza. I'm probably not saying that right. I don't know why it just doesn't sound right. I paid, let's see, this was 45 for the top and bottom. And I feel like you won't find this for that price anywhere on like a major retailer. So we'll just see if it's up to quality. <laughs> all right, so it comes with this hoodie. It is a little thin, I will say that. It's like definitely not cotton line or like fleece line at all. And then it comes with the pants. Again, kind of thin. They're not see-through, but a little bit thinner than I was expecting. I was kind of expecting it to be like a heavy sweat set, but I guess a light set is nice for like fall. So there's that. Okay, we have the sweatshirt here. First of all, I don't really know what's going on with this. I don't like that it's crossed like that. And I'm not sure it was like that in the picture. I guess her hair is covering it and all the ones I can see, but it definitely, like these pants aren't the same as the ones they have advertised. I even sized up and these still feel like not quite billowing the way that they are in that. Yeah, like this doesn't look the same at all to me. I, I would personally probably just pay the extra 20 to $30 to get something a lot nicer than this. This is not a great dupe in my opinion, so three out of 10. Okay, so now we have this Aloe Vixen um, like fleece pullover dupe. These are usually like $100. It's from the brand Aloe Yoga. This It's a really nice brand. I have some of their leggings and I love their stuff, but it is kind of pricey. So if we can find it on Amazon, we're gonna do it. So this is the fleece. This was $40 and here it is. So I'm gonna be honest, like it looks pretty much the same. Um, it does feel a little bit lighter. And what I think the other one is. But this was $40, so it's like half the price. <laughs> you're getting half the fabric, you know? You're getting what you paid for. But, you know, it still looks cute and you're trendy and we'll see how it fits on. Okay, here's our top. I would say this actually looks a lot like the real thing. Like it looks very similar to one on Owl Yoga. It fits very similar where you have like this big waistband here and then the collared neck. It definitely is thinner, I'll say that. This, this feels like a typical, like really thin pullover. Um, whereas I think the other one is a lot thicker, probably a little bit softer. As far as dupe goes, seven out of 10. So this is supposed to be like a puffer vest that you would find anywhere, really. I've seen these at Lulu. I've seen them all over the place. Um, but for like a good solid puffer vest, it's usually gonna cost you like 40, 50 bucks. This was 20. So far, my impressions are kind of mid because I think it's mostly just like deflated. I need some time to like puff back up. It does feel cheap, you can kind of hear it. So kind of meh, but we'll see when it when it pops back up what, what we think. And the color is a little off. Like I, it, like it looks a little off to me, but I don't quite know why. It's still, it still hasn't really puffed up. It's been quite a, like quite a while. But maybe it just needs a little bit longer. Like maybe if I left it out overnight, it would lose kind of this wrinkle. As far as like fit and stuff goes, it fits nicely. The quality itself though is kind of where I'm disappointed slightly. I had some problems with the zipper. There's like some loose fabric here in there you're buying it for 20 bucks so it'll last you four wears and then you're fine <laughs> this one i'm actually very excited about because it's not quite a clothing dupe it's actually a perfume dupe there has been lots of like scent duping going on recently and this is supposed to be copycatting the brand I, it's like french i'm not gonna say it right but it's pretty much like baccarat rogue 540 and this perfume is usually like like upwards of 150 dollars this is it so i'm gonna try it right now Oh my gosh, I can smell it already. It smells so good. So this is calling it Perfume or Body Oil 546. Our impression of Baccarat Rouge 540. 
they actually kind of hit it like dead on. I feel like every time I smell it, I'm smelling something different. So obviously this is like a smaller bottle than what you probably would get, but this was $9, which is, you know, a lot cheaper than $200. It does smell a little bit oily, like it's like you can tell that it's oil, but once I put it on, like it changed the scent. And I'm impressed. This actually smells like very, very luxe. I guess the only question would be, does it last all day or does it last a long time? Like it smells very nice. I keep like changing and stuff and I my like hand keeps coming up next to my nose and it still smells very very strong and it smells really good so um, it definitely smells like it smells like a luxury perfume. I'm not sure this is one that I would like go out and buy because I like love the scent you know what I mean like it smells good and it smells strong but it still smells like grandma um, but if that's what you're looking for this does smell like the actual scent and so far it's lasted and it's been very strong. Two thumbs up as far as this little bottle goes 10 out of 10. All right that is it for this what I ordered versus what I got dupe version. Um, everything that I ordered, all the links will be down in the description box below. So if you want to shop any of it, all the links are right there for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. These are super fun to make because I love buying things. <laughs> I love shopping. And also I'm a big advocate for like finding dupes and things like that. So these are always awesome. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more and I'll see you later. Bye guys.